Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today, we are doing a full room makeover. We are making over our guest bedroom space. And I did film it vlog style, you know, that's the easiest way for me to get to things. So I'll show you guys the before and kind of what it looked like before. But my goal with this room and making it over is I wanted it to feel very comforting, very cozy, very inviting for guests. But also selfishly, we are 28 weeks pregnant. Is it 28 weeks? Yeah, 28 weeks, almost 29 weeks pregnant. This baby is coming in a few months. And as we and as we transition into the newborn phase, of course, we're gonna have family over. I wanna make sure that they feel invited. But I also wanted a space where when it is time to move our newborn up into their own bedroom, their bedroom is up on a second floor and our master suite is on the main floor. So I wanted a space where my husband and I can sleep up there for the time being until we feel comfortable with the newborn being in their own room. So I have partnered with Castlery on this project. And if you haven't heard of Castlery before, Castlery is a modern furniture company that creates a story for every room. They have a lot of timeless furniture and they use the highest quality materials for the longevity of your furniture but they also make sure that the prices are fair they cut out the middleman so you're not having to pay that middleman price and so the price is a lot more reasonable than some of the marked up furniture that you see online so like I said I did make over this entire room with castlery furniture with the exception of a few more like decor type pieces just to like add in some styling details but I am so excited to share this with you. So let's jump into the vlog portion of this so you can see the before and kind of like the process behind it. And then we'll move into the reveal. So let's get to it. You guys, this delivery just arrived and I am so excited to share with you. There are quite a few boxes that I'm about to open and share with you kind of like a little room transformation so yeah let's do it we are doing a guest bedroom makeover and i already have everything picked out everything good to go but i did want to show you guys what it looks like before and kind of the vision just kind of like the problem of what i was trying to solve with this renovation not renovation but with this makeover but yeah i'm very excited because it's here and we're going to go ahead and put it together and i'm going to of course share this with you guys because i share everything with you guys so let's get to it all right, this is it, you guys. <laughs> I did just sell all the furniture that was in here before. We never had a bed frame, so it was always just on the floor like this. But we had some outdated tables, outdated lamps. I just hung these curtains up. They were in my office, which we are now turning into a nursery. So these were just kind of left over from that, but I do love them. So we have put them up on our Ikea vid get track. And we're kind of starting with the blank slate, which is really nice and really convenient. So let me go on this other side of the room. Moving around to this side of the room. My husband does have his office set up right here, which is usually right here. I'm not really sure why he moved it over here, but we are gonna be moving this out of this room. At some point, it's gonna go into a dedicated office space for him so he does not have to share it with the guest bedroom, which will be nice. Um, so we're gonna actually move this out of this room for this styling video so that you guys can see like the full setup of how it's gonna be long term and then he may move this back in here for a little bit but the goal is to get him out as soon as possible but yeah it's like i said a blank slate not super welcoming for a guest bedroom situation so i think we can do better all right we are going to unbox shay which one do you want to start with this big box okay
right, are you guys ready for the reveal? through a few of these pieces and why I chose them just to kind of like I don't know tie the whole vision together for you but I think the main piece and it's probably obvious to you the whole reason I wanted to even start this makeover project was I had found this bed frame on Castle Rue's website and I really loved the low profile minimalist but cozy texture that came with this bed frame so that was like the number one piece that actually started this entire styling journey i have to tell you guys if you are looking for a similar style bed something that's super classic super minimal super streamlined and at a really great price point i'm telling you this bed is it i was actually looking at the soft frame design bed if you, if you don't know what i'm talking about it was like the viral bed frame that went around for quite some time and I feel like this bed frame from Castle Ray is a grown-up version of it. I also love that the back of this stands on its own whereas the other soft frame design you have to put it up against something and again the reason I did that is because this room we do have these two windows on this wall but the windows aren't the windows gave me a little bit of a challenge let's just put it that way but what I really wanted to do with this space is to make it a full row of some sort of texture behind on this wall because otherwise it's just a plain white box in here you guys know i don't love a lot of stuff on the wall although i did add something which you see right here but i wanted to add some sort of texture on the back of the wall which helps make the room feel cozy especially with minimalist type design those of you who like less in your space less clutter less visual distraction like that kind of thing textures really bring a lot of warmth and dimension to a space that may not otherwise be there and this bed frame was perfect because you can move it just a little bit up off against the wall so that the curtains can go behind it but the bed still looks really nice and intentional i wanted to show you guys these side tables really quickly so these side tables number one i love the shape of them that they are curved and not angular because otherwise you guys know i really gravitate towards a lot of angles but i do try and add curves within my design like when i design spaces for example just to like break up all of the straight lines or like right angles and i loved the curve shape of this but one of the best parts of it but it's like it's you push it in and pull it out like it's not there's no handles to it you just push it in and push it out I don't I am like blanking on the word that that's called you guys know what I'm talking about um this top one you just pull out like a normal drawer but it's really really cool I feel like the design is really awesome and the storage of course is just an added benefit the other piece that I ordered from Castlery which I think actually makes the entire room tie in together is this rug I do tend to go with neutral mostly solid type rugs but I really liked this one because of the texture that it has on it it's like this really beautiful texture and it has these just like different shades of brown kind of throughout so it ties in with the wood tones like the wood tone from the side table but also the wood tone from the floor and just all of the different browns and neutrals that are in here i feel like are all in this rug so it's like the best anchor piece i think if you go with this type of color palette and the fact that it's not a stark white you guys know i go with a lot of bright whites i feel like the fact that this is not a stark white is also a really great thing to have in your guest bedroom so your guests don't feel uncomfortable stepping on the rug that's in here because i know that can happen sometimes i love my whites but i want to make people feel comfortable in terms of styling of course i just did my all white bedding this is a linen type bedding that i just got off of amazon and then i just threw on this linen bedspread which is from zara home we used to have this downstairs but i've brought it up here to make it look super cozy and we have different bedding downstairs now too the bolster pillow is from the citizenry and then of course i added a little 
picture frame in the corner just to have a little styled moment in this corner. So moving over to this corner, yes, we have a TV in the guest bedroom. I feel like I always have to mention my husband loves TVs. He loves sports. We have a TV in pretty much every room. I don't really care that much, so it's in here. But I, had, I wanted to put something underneath it just so that it felt like just so that the corner feels more intentional. So we threw in this console table from Castlery. And again, I feel like the wood tones just all tie in together. I know it's all different color woods, but it all ties in with this rug that we have on the floor. And my favorite part about this console table and what kind of sold me on it was the design detail here. I feel like this looks really, really high end and I really love the detail of just kind of the grooves that it has, that, that design. And obviously it's super minimal. There's not a lot of distraction going on. You can style it with the different seasons. It is fall now, so we have our fall florals and a fall candle going. But if you wanted to add something for spring, you can move it, change it around for spring and you guys get the point. The other thing I think is really good about this console table, I'm just backing up so you can kind of see the whole vision. If you needed to, you could throw a chair here and you could turn that into a little mini desk, just like a little work situation. You could also make it a little vanity, like have a one of those like makeup mirrors with the lights. Um, you could have that up there for your guests to get ready. There's just a lot of uses for a table like this because it is open. You can just put the chair right underneath or you could put like the suitcase storage rack. The quality of these pieces really are really impressive. They come shipped to you in a box, which is really awesome because it saves you a ton of money in terms of delivery. And it also shipped really quickly. I feel like I ordered it and it came within like two, two or three weeks. I can't remember exactly the time frame. So yeah, this is the guest bedroom. You guys, I can't believe I didn't share these with you yet. So in addition to the guest bedroom makeover that we just did, I picked up these two chairs from Castlery. When I was on the website, I saw that they came in a pair of two and the price was really good and we needed a set of two chairs in this bedroom. So yeah, we grabbed them. And I just really liked the detail. Of course, you know, the boucle texture is just really popular right now. But I also feel like a boucle texture is pretty classic. So just felt like it was like a perfect kind of like seamless transition into our bedroom. What I really liked about these is the feet of them have kind of a unique shape because I've been seeing this similar style chair kind of everywhere, but this one is a little bit unique as these feet, like the feet are a little bit different. And I thought they kind of blended really nicely with our wood tones in our floor. So that's kind of why I wanted to go with these. I just felt like, you guys know, I like a really good blend or like a tone on tone type texture and just felt like it fit perfectly into the vibe of our, our master bedroom. They are a really nice quality if you sit on them. They're a little bit low to the ground. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more low profile, I definitely would say that these are them. It's just kind of like a chair that you can just like sit down and sink into if that makes sense. Our daughter also really loves them. Every time she comes in here, she comes and sits on them and climbs on them. And yeah, she really loves these chairs too. So what do you guys think? Do we like these in here? Do you feel like they fit the vibe? I feel like they fit perfectly. All right guys, so that was my video. That was the makeover reveal. I hope you guys loved it. Like I said, I wanted to keep it very simple, very calming and very neutral, duh, because then you can switch in decor as the seasons change or just as your preferences change. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me below. I will link all of the items that I shared in the description down below. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to leave you with that, but I'm sure I will see you guys on my next video.